Suzy Liu is still going downhill, and it's gotta be like the most entertaining roller coaster ever. We've got about five different things to cover today, maybe even more, so yeah, let's get this started. So she's charging a thousand dollars on Cameo, her Patreon has officially been shut down, her social blade looks like a juicy watermelon, and she's just blading views and subscribers. Her tweets are pretty fascinating, like she's pretty much just begging for attention, begging for people to say nice things about her, and I created a little sweet personal message myself so stay tuned for that um her boyfriend is going nuts on twitter replying to every single person imaginable he's trying to explain like why it's perfectly fine to make fun of fat people but it's not fine to talk bad about suzy lou so there's a lot of mental gymnastics going on there but yeah they also make fun of like tipster in a pretty goddamn horrid way so yeah let's get this started all right cameo if you look at the screen right now you can book her for a thousand dollars on cameo so cameo is a website where celebrities are paid a certain amount of money to provide a 30 second personal video message to their fans now these are pretty reasonably priced like we've got memeless here for 35 dollars he's like a youtuber with 4 million subscribers so and, and like some people would argue that even that's overpriced right because it's only like a 30 second message but suzy lou over here goes up to a thousand dollars because her ego is so incredibly massive that I, I don't know dude you could give her diamonds for breakfast and she would complain about how cheap the food is so there's a lot of people speculating as to why she went on cameo most people are saying it's because her patreon is getting shut down so she needs an extra source of income but i don't think you're gonna get many people willing to give you a thousand dollars for a 30 second clip like you're not that famous like i don't think any celebrity could do that all right let's move on to her patreon so her patreon is being shut down right now if you go on her patreon page right now this message will pop up saying this page is under review and it's probably under review for violating copyright law and it's pretty significant because she was earning around ten thousand dollars a month just from her patreon at one point so this is like a massive chunk of her income just gone and i think she's starting to sweat a bit all right we've got a pretty sweet update that just happened as I was recording this, so Suzy Liu's Patreon has officially been shut down. Hey everyone, in the next few days, I will be sending out an email to all of you subscribed on here. This will be an email to join my VIP package on my website. So she's trying to move, yeah, yeah, move all her patrons to her website. I've been talking about this since back in December when we sold the Christmas cards, and I'm so excited it's finally here. I like how she's trying to cover up the fact that she's literally gotten shut down, and she's like, oh yeah, I. I did this out of my own free will. In this email, it will explain exactly what benefits you'll receive on the website as a VIP. And because you have all been charged for this month and there won't be content on this Patreon anymore, you can expect a free month on the website with content. Patreon is very limited in what it offers and that's why I am deciding to part ways with them. They've also not been very helpful whenever I've had to deal with any copyright trolls. Oh yeah, like these companies are coming back for the content that they own and they've not been very helpful you know and as you may or may not know i've been dealing with a few of those lately thank you to all who have been part of this patreon and i'll see you over on the website soon all right social blade so suzy lou's social blade is bleeding views and subscribers you can see that she had to delete 4.4 million views off her channel but uh, I'm, I'm speculating that they got taken down because nobody just deletes like $17,000. The thing I find most funny about Social Blade is that it shows your predicted income at the side. And on this day, it shows like a negative $17,000. Like, thank you, Social Blade. Very cool. So yeah, the, her main channel, her second channel, her boyfriend's channel all have these beautiful red numbers showing that copyright is finally catching up to them. And not only that, like people are starting to realize who exactly they're subscribed to because these subscribers are not just random people. They're people who have seen our videos and, and have decided, okay, maybe I shouldn't be supporting Suzy Lou, so they're unsubscribing, you know? All right, this has got to be like my favorite thing to look at out of Suzy Lou's Twitter because it just shows how desperate she is. So she retweeted Jacqueline Hill saying, I want to ask a favor of you guys. Tag a YouTube 
YouTuber, influencer, blogger, etc. and say something nice about them, something to lift them up. I know millions of people watch but never comment. If you have something nice to say, say it. You can do it right here. Start a thread. Alright, so she's basically begging for people to say nice things about her, which just comes off so bad. Like, imagine I tweeted out, Hey guys, please say some nice things about me. I'm such a good person, right? Like, I need this validation. Like, you only do that type of shit if you're actually doubting yourself. And I can clearly see what's happening to Susie Lou now. Like, but don't, don't worry, you know, I, I've wrote up a nice message for you, and I'm sure you're gonna love it. Susie Lou, you make some jolly good content. I paid a thousand dollars for a personal cameo from you, but it hasn't arrived yet. I can't wait, honestly. I stole the money from my local charity because I felt like it would be better spent here. Ooh woo. Sometimes I look at you and think, wow, maybe one day I'll be as talented as you, Susie Lou. Thank you for inspiring me. <laughs> Hopefully my little message will cheer Susie Lou up. I mean, I put a lot of thought and effort into it. I actually spent three weeks crafting up this perfect message, so yeah, smash like. Okay, finally we have Stijo's Twitter, also known as Susie Lou's simping boyfriend. So here we have the first argument he's having, and it's about Tipster. So he and Susie Lou constantly make fun of Tipster and his appearance, and when they get called out for it, instead of saying sorry, they say that it's totally fine to make fun of him because you can change your weight by exercising and stuff, but you can't make fun of Susie Lou because she's absolutely perfect. So let's just read some of the incredible logic going on here. So somebody says that it's not okay to make fun of Tipster's weight, and then Stijo says, because you can't spontaneously produce mass, that's not how physics works. You don't suddenly get morbidly obese from osmosis or photosynthesis. You get morbidly obese by putting an obscene amount of food down your gullet and being static. Now Tipster actually explained in his video that he struggles with his weight due to a lot of childhood trauma from his dad physically abusing him. On top of that, his depression and anxiety were a constant battle, so eating food was just kind of like a coping uh, coping tool. And even after that, like, Stijo and Susie Lou just don't back down, and I don't think they ever will. He then tries to defend Susie Lou again, simping hard. She didn't say anything about anyone's personal appearance. Let me just pull up this picture right here, yeah. She didn't say anything about uh, Tipster's personal appearance at all. Personally, I see no problem with criticizing people's life choices. I see a problem with insulting things that people can't change about themselves. Why are you lying, Stato? Like, you did not criticize Tipster's life choices. If you just went up to Tipster and said, Hey, I think you should exercise more. It would benefit your health, in my opinion. I don't agree with your life choices. That's called criticizing people's life choices. Instead, this is what Susie Liu tweeted out. So this person says, did she not? Then what is this doing here? And then he puts up a tweet of Susie Liu, you know, body shaming. And then Stijo says, sounds like life advice to me. Life advice. This guy's actually delusional. He brings it up and then we're the ones choosing to die on a hill. Once again, open hypocrisy. Stijo replies by saying, It'd be, I'd be surprised if you'd be able to get up the freaking hill. Yeah, man, I I'm just criticizing his life choice. Choices. Like, you're not good people, don't act like it, don't pretend you can form an argument to defend yourself here, all you can do is apologize and but she refused to do so, like, therefore nobody will forgive you. With Stijo and Susie Lou, you can smell the hatred behind it. It's like they spend every single day rolling in bed, talking and thinking about Tipster, and is this kind of sad? Guys, I swear I went to college. Look, photosynthesis. And then Stijo says, come back when you can afford a toothbrush. Okay, so he proceeds to talk about money here, as if you earned your money in any noble way at all. Like, you just stole anime and reacted to it illegally, so it's pretty obvious your money is not deserved at all, so don't even bother insulting somebody's finances. This has got to be my favorite part because he tries to defend his horrid reaction videos. If you think there is no commentary or analysis, then you haven't watched one of my videos. Don't be disingenuous. How about you don't be disingenuous because you you know what you're doing. These type of people just piss me off because they are so smug with what they do and they just don't give a shit that they're literally blatantly like breaking the law. Like it's fair use. Come on. You gotta respect it. All right. So Stijo was caught deleting all of his tweets because they were just incriminating him more and more. You can see the type of shit that he tweets out is terrible. A anybody who calls him out, he replies with this meme. 
No, you can't just delete your tweets. That just proves you're guilty. You're just running away from the truth. You're gonna get what's coming to you. No matter how many tweets you delete and how many people you block, we'll keep on coming. You're just desperate. People will screenshot and capture the tweets. It's not annoying anyone. Haha, <laughs> tweet deleter go brr. Y you can see that uh, through his years of anime reactions, he's really developed a, a very good sense of humor. Alright, that's about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I know a lot of people have been asking for more Suzy Liu videos, but I just kind of tend to wait for five things to come out before I cover it because I, I don't want to take like one individual thing and, and just keep stretching it out. So thanks for watching. I always appreciate it. Uh, I'll appreciate it if you leave a like and subscribe and all that. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.